Welcome to the SAP Business One Sales Process Overview Demo. The sales AR process moves through issuing a sales quotation, to selling the goods and services, to delivering those goods, to invoicing the customer for their purchases. Before a customer commits to an order, they may ask for a sales quotation they can review. Entering the sales quotations can be done for an existing customer or a lead that you are hoping to start doing business with. To add a sales quotation, go to Main Menu, Sales AR, Sales Quotation. First, select the customer or lead. Next, select the item and the quantity the customer requests. The price is automatically determined from the price list for the customer. A unique feature for sales quotations is the alternative item row type. Imagine your customer is interested in a couple of expensive printers, but would also like to know about more affordable printers as part of the quotation. By adding an alternative row type, you include additional items without affecting the total amount of the quotation. When you convert the quotation to a sales order, you can decide whether to delete the alternative items or include them as regular items. Before you submit the quote to the customer, you can check the gross margin to ensure you are profitable. The sales quotation, along with all other sales documents, can be emailed directly from SAP to your customer. If the customer approves the quotation, they may send you a purchase order and require an order confirmation. In SAP, the sales quotation can be copied directly to a sales order, or if there is no sales quotation, the sales order can be created from scratch. If you copy a document from one document to another in SAP, it copies across all pertinent information and allows the user to only focus on making adjustments where necessary and value added. The sales order is an important document, it tells everyone to get busy filling that order. As such, this document is important for planning production, picking the items from the warehouse, creating purchase orders, and scheduling resources. The required delivery date must be identified on the order. Adding a sales order increases the committed quantity of the inventory for that item. SAP can automatically perform an item availability check for the items on the sales order, or can manually be checked to confirm that you are able to fulfill the customer's order by the delivery date. If the item is not in stock or will be delivered directly from the vendor to the customer, you can create a purchase order directly from the sales order. Once the product is ready to ship a sales order can be copied directly to the delivery. It is possible to generate a pick list from the sales order. Watch the inventory management demo for more details. You can partially ship an order if the customer allows for back orders. If you only ship partial quantities or lines, the base sales order remains open for future deliveries. If one or more items are managed by serial or batch numbers, right-click the quantity field and select the batch and serial numbers option to identify which batch and serials are released from stock. You can identify the packaging structure in a delivery document. This is especially useful when you pack and ship large number of items. Select the packing slip option from the context menu. Here you can allocate items and quantities to package types. When a delivery is added to SAP, it removes the inventory from stock. Since we are fulfilling the commitment created from the sales order, the committed quantity is reduced. The delivery document also posts a financial journal entry to credit the inventory GL account and debit the cost of goods sold. If you provide your customer with tracking numbers, you can capture it on the logistics tab of the delivery. After the product has shipped, a customer may request to return some product. A return request can be created from the delivery for the item. This provides the customer with an RMA number that they can include on their shipment. When the product arrives at the warehouse, the product is inspected and either returned to the warehouse for future shipment or scrapped. The return request can be copied to a return document which will bring the product back into inventory. You have the option to reopen the sales order if you will be shipping a replacement for the returned product. If the customer has already paid for the item being returned, the return request can be copied to an AR credit memo that can return the inventory. It will also post a credit to the customer's account. Since all the documents are related, 
SAP keeps track of all the transactions and when we go to create the invoice for our original delivery, we are only invoicing the customer for the product that they kept and excludes the returned product. Once you deliver goods or provide services, you bill the customer using an AR invoice. An AR invoice is a request for payment. Posting an AR invoice captures the revenue in the profit and loss statement and captures the accounts receivable for the customer. You can copy the delivery to the AR invoice, or you can consolidate multiple deliveries to a single AR invoice using the copy from function, or the document generation wizard. Note that the due date of the invoice is calculated based on the payment terms assigned to the customer. The AR invoice is the only mandatory document in the sales process. If there is no base delivery document, the AR invoice will post the respective inventory adjustments. Once the customer pays for the invoice, the payment is captured on the invoice. You can select the method of payment, cash, credit card, bank transfer or check, and the amount of the payment. If the invoice is overpaid, the balance will go to payment on account, if underpaid, the invoice will remain open. Throughout the sales process, we have added many documents. The SAP relationship map can be viewed from any of the documents to see the complete flow of the documents and allows an overview of where a particular order is within the process. There are many variations and iterations on the sales process including upfront payments, down payments, unique return processes, assignment of serial numbers or batch numbers, and much more. To discuss your business requirements and how SAP Business One can improve your sales process, visit our website www.aclaros.com. We look forward to connecting.